Notion is a great place to store all of your notes and files. And especially when you're in a team, that's where it really shines is when you can share your notes and files in a centralized single source of truth so that everybody can find them. But when you start expanding and putting in a lot of files in there, usually it kind of gets a little hard to find those things. And there's plenty of, of ways to organize your files and show them in different ways to make sense of it. But I want to show you a really unique approach to how to organize your files and show them in a way that I'm, I would, I would imagine you've never seen before. And that's by mimicking what I would kind of call the finder, but what we're gonna do is show the files in your Notion system in a really interesting way that I think you might enjoy. So let's look at it. We're at this fake company called Lunar HQ that we've been building out over the past few videos. And let's jump right into this file finder. This is what I mean by creating a finder. So we've got these files and they exist in a database. This shouldn't be any new to you if you've uh, watched any of my previous videos or you're familiar with databases in Notion. And we've got these files in a single database, a global database, as we call it. And what we really want to zone in on is that each of them is given a specific type. And when we do this, what I, what I really like doing is building this kind of wrapper uh, that I call the finder for the files in my Notion system. And what I mean by wrapper is that now when I jump into this file finder, I'm not jumping into the database itself, but I'm jumping into this what I would say feels like an application. And I've, I've divided this application up by the certain types of files that I have. So I have a very specific set of file types. And over here, I've created, using my perspectives method, these perspectives for each of those types of files. And I've set up the filters in a way where it's only going to show me the files that fit that file type. So when I jump over to the strategic file perspective, I'm only seeing the strategic files. And I've hidden the property because you don't really need to see the type, but you can see that I'm only looking at these strategic ones. I'm only looking at guides and references over here, but then when I jump to the main file finder page, I can see all of them and I've, I've got them sorted by types. So you can see that there are many different types of files. And on this page, I could do any number of things. I could sort it by the created time, and that way I'm only seeing the most recently created ones at the top, and I get used to this system of seeing the most recent files at the top. I could do a, a filter by the me filter so that I'm only seeing my files. But then over here on the side, we've got it broken up by these file types. And I think the really key part to doing the file finder like this is that each file has a particular type that it fits into the criteria and that it doesn't get confusing or overlapping with any of the other file types. This is what we would actually call MECI. So MECI, and what I mean by MECI is M-E-C-E. -E. Maybe we can... Uh, this is what I mean by MISI, and this stands for Mutually Exclusive, Collectively Exhaustive. This just means that every item that's in my file system can only fit into one of these file types. So it's a, it's a way of building out affinity groups, like, like these types right here, in a way that any file that you include in the system can and will fit into one and only one type, and there will be no other file that you can include that won't fit one. So it will fit into one and it will not be left out of fitting into one. So we've got this, this system that we would call MISI for organizing our files by these types. What we are able to do and accomplish with this is by building this system where it's become second nature to know what kind of file it is that you're looking for and right off the bat with one click when we come into the file finder we're able to zone in on one particular type of file because i have one two three four five six seven eight i have reduced the amount of files that i'm looking at by an order of eight so i've i've gotten rid of seven eighths of all the files and i've zoned into uh the particular file type that I'm looking for. And it makes it a lot easier to find those files. And I just think this is a really interesting approach that maybe you'd find interesting. And especially in a company context, when you are dealing with a lot of different people and a lot of different files, you could do this by any number of different affinity group types. And so this could even be, instead of by the file types, this could be by the teams, or maybe you have some other system that makes sense for you. You don't even have to make it messy. 
they don't have to fit into this framework, but I do think it's a really helpful framework for organizing your files. And I just came up with this using uh, ChatGPT to help me figure out a file organizing system that made sense and that did fit into the MISI framework. And so now when I put a file in, uh, I'm not gonna get confused on which one it belongs in. However, um, it is possible to multi-tag files. So instead of doing a select, I could change this instead to a multi-select. And this would allow me to add multiple tags to an item. And that's perfectly okay because then it would still fit into the filter criteria for multiple items. And so this user manual for CRM, this guide and reference, maybe you know I want to tag it with this client. Now it's also going to show up over in the uh, client one, which apparently doesn't have a filter. So if I filter this by client, which is the way it's supposed to be, we can see the user manual for CRM down here and when we show the type you'll see that it actually has both so you don't have to do it in the way that i showed where it's just one type you don't have to follow the mc framework but i do think it's an important framework to at least be aware of if you're the kind of person that struggles with knowing where something belongs and how to tag or type your things in notion and that's that's really it uh, i think this is a really interesting use case for doing perspectives and it's a really nice way to organize files and so these files can also exist in other places places in the workspace and they do they exist in team HQs and OS's and personal dashboards but on the Lunar HQ, which is the company's main HQ page, uh, it's nice to build out this file finder application using perspectives where you can break it down by some sort of filtering down criteria. And you can do this however makes sense to you and your business, or you know maybe you're just a solo person, this can still be useful. And so I wanted to introduce this concept to you and let you take it uh, wherever you would. If you decide to use this, definitely feel free to leave a comment. Let me know how you're using it. Maybe send some screenshots over to me on Twitter Twitter, and would love to see where you take this. And that's going to be it for this week's video, just introducing a new way to use perspectives to organize your information in Notion.